Hello, Rapid Fighters. Welcome to a new division. This time, let's move forward a few months in 1944. Let's leave Normandy, where I still want to do a few things before showing you the next big unit. Um, and let's move to another unit that is complete. After the 21st Panzer I've showed you, after the 16th Luftwaffe Field Division, there is the 26th Volksgrenadier Division. Of course, this one is for the Arden campaign, and this one became famous uh, by encircling the 101st US Airborne uh, inside the uh, Bastogne. Uh, so let's go to the uh, to the unit. And first, let's start with the Bible, of course. Richard Marsh wrote it. And it is this Orbat here, which shows show us how to do um, how to build um, Volksgrenadier units. So you need uh, you need a, a regimental uh, command here, you can see, with an assault company. You have uh, small companies for the infantry battalions, uh, only with seven figures. You have uh, a heavy company, also a little bit uh, depleted, at least it doesn't have uh, many uh, MG42s. Uh, it has uh, the usual 81mm uh, mortar, uh, relatively old um, infantry gun also. And there is uh, support companies, I mean, uh, which are in fact a bit distant from what they should be, what the Germans would like. Of course, they would like to have SP guns here. They don't have uh, the look at uh, Panzerschreck uh, in big numbers in order to compensate the lack of uh, anti-tank SPs, of course. And here the uh, gun company with another um, uh, 75 mm infantry gun and a 120 mm mortar. Uh, so let's see a full regiment here. Uh, this is a regiment here, you can see, two battalions. And um, you can see the 120 mm here from Valiant. Instead of a radio van, you can see here um, a supermarket uh, Volkswagen with different tires, different wheels making it, I mean, relatively okay for World War II. This is kind of Hot Wheels with those very usual and strange wheels they like to place in all uh, their models. Um, so it, it needs to be different somehow. And you can see here the uh, a cart, completely scratch built with Napoleonic era horses and with uh, also scratch built uh, driver. Uh, very cold, apparently, and he's pulling, of course, uh, something like this, for instance, 75 millimeter infantry gun from AJT with crew also from AJT. There's also a, a command uh, frontline, a staff car from Frontline or Gaming, okay, and with plastic figures also inside. So this is the the regimental command and some support companies, and the other support company is here. Uh, the anti-tank company is here. As you can see, it's made of different um, kind of uh, Panzerschreck fighters. The more traditional ones are, of course, the ones from Eschi, which everybody knows. But then there are some AJT figures also. You can see, for instance, this guy here from the... These guys, these two, in fact, they are both from the Revel set for Stalingrad, something like that, right? And the the guy with the Panzerschreck have, has its weapon from SHQ. Yes, it's a metal one. And um, more of the same here. Also, the guy from uh, the 251 from Eschi, instead of firing the MG34, is in fact uh, carrying the heavy Panzerschreck on his back, and also a, an MP40, so he's quite loaded. The other one is Revel. So this is the the kind of stuff I made. Okay, let's go to the to the infantry battalion. You can see a mortar here with three different uh, three different brands: Eschi, Italeri, and AJT. You can see here uh, completely also scratch built MG42. Uh, I mean the 
the gun itself is um, the weapon itself is um, is valiant. Uh, the guy on his knees with binoculars is the old Airfix uh, Africa Corps officer turned into a Volksgrenadier officer, and there is also, I think, from Eshi another figure, uh, and these are the other guys from the command. The medic is here, and is also, of course. Uh, let's see if it focus. Not easy. It's uh, something completely different. I don't know from where I really made this guy. I think I, I think it was a pioneer from Revel. It had in the past it had a, a mind detector, but now became a, a medic. Much more peaceful. Uh, and infantry is normal. Infantry is a mixture of. Um, you can see uh, Italeri figures. More Italeri here. Um, some uh, irregular miniatures in metal. Those famous uh, Revel forty-two fighters, very nicely engineered, and a few other brands, a little bit all over. And this repeats itself all along the division. Okay, through six battalions. Uh, let's go to the command of the division, for instance. Uh, I mean, or at least divisional troops. You can see another, another, another uh, card here. These guys are the uh, engineers, yeah, with flamethrowers and mines and things like that, and also some bicycles. The bicycles, I think, are coming from uh, that jungle uh, outpost from Airfix, if not mistaken, and on. In this case, these figures are uh, irregular miniatures. Irregular miniatures suits very well for the as figures that suits them. It suits very very well to the they suit sorry uh, very well to the Volksgrenadier um, um, soldiers because they in fact they have very nice uh, smocks which can be painted white or camouflage uh, camouflaged and uh, they suit well in this purpose. This is the command of the division. With rebel figures and um, valiant figures. Uh, also, uh, another frontline wargaming uh, staff car and an ambulance from, uh, of course, this one is from Eshi. Uh, more of the same here, it's not very important to see it. Now, this is the also divisional troops, uh, the two. Uh, fusilier companies one, two the guys in bicycles represent the guys here in with weapons uh, the ones that are fighting are the ones are the same that are riding the bicycles so again irregular miniatures figures in fact every, every single one of them are irregular miniatures and these ones are AJT and there are also some, I think, Airfix, yeah. This one, for instance, is Airfix from the German uh, mountain troops with a new helmet. It became a nice Volksgrenadier. I mean, I, I also use lots of varnish on these miniatures for them to, to stand uh, touching and, and moving them. Um, even if I mostly move them inside shelves. But as I'm, uh, I, I now became a recent war gamer, so... I intend to move them uh, much more, and I'm glad that I vanish them because they will stand much better. The the they will stand much better. The rigors, of course, of handling all these all these miniatures. For instance, this one has a Panzerfaust glued in uh, Panzerfaust in in uh, in uh, art plastic, and the figure is soft plastic but by gluing them with super glue and then uh, uh, varnishing the lot the whole miniature it becomes quite sturdy now more units um, i think the main aspects of the infantry are reviewed let's go to the artillery artillery is was very it was, was very funny to 
to build. I mean, these guys here are the FK-16. Um, and they are AJT uh, guns with Valiant crews. Uh, for here you can see, for instance, the um, Revel uh, horse toes again with uh, valiant uh, heads for them to look, I mean, compatible with the artillerymen that are next to the guns. Oops, okay. Uh, different, of course. You can toy with this, with this plastic, which is marvelous, marvelous thing. You can do plenty of different, uh, plenty of changes in the uniform, and you can place um, Shirmutsas, you can place the helmets, you can do whatever you want. Plastic is a great medium. Uh, over there, there is another another battalion, which is the 150 millimeter battalion. In fact, I hope these guys never enter to the battlefield because they are, I'm sorry to, say, to tell you, 187, my only 187 miniatures I have in my entire collection of World War II. Uh, and these guys, because for, my, for many years, it was the only way for me to have 150 millimeter guns for the German side. It was, in fact, Rocco miniatures in HO scale, very small. Even the crew is also everything Rocco. As they are intended to be off-table, I think it's not a big deal. There are some some Anamax over there to, to, uh, to tow them, and also an SHQ uh, with armored, uh, uh, I mean, this is a, a multier with uh, with the armored cab from SHQ as a sort of ammunition uh, ammunition vehicle. Uh, now for another interesting artillery part, the third part of the artillery, third battalion, which is the medium battalion with uh, with rebel um, guns and plenty of different uh, artillery crews from, from almost all brands possible. I used plenty of stuff for, for making these guys here, for instance, you can see this one's here with um, converted figures in order for them to to have uh, this th this one here is pulling the string of the gun, but originally it was pulling the strings of grenades for them to be fired. This is a, uh, I mean, in fact, all four of them are rival figures coming from two different boxes, Pioneer and Infantry, but converted, they look reasonably good artillerymen. More of the same here, as you can see. Okay, and to pull all these things, Altaya RSOs. Very cute and very funny vehicle. As I only had five and I needed six, I pressed into service another Oppo Multi from Altaya. Okay, and a few more possible artillerymen here. These ones, I think some of them are coming from Azegawa. Well, and now for the most dangerous part, eventually, the Etzer company. The only few um, anti-tank SPs the Volksunit division has, only this company. It was in fact 14 of them, which are of course represented by these three uh, Etzers from, um, from um, Eshi, okay? Camouflaged with uh, uh, this funny late war camouflage, they had inter intervals, something like that, right? Uh, and, here, and here it is, the Etzer company. Um, now for the last component of the division, the secret one, if I can call it, because for many years I never thought uh, about this possibility. I wondered how 10,000 men could have besieged 11,000. More or less, I mean, not counting other units that were passing, uh, that were inside the, 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 the uh, inside the uh, Bastogne, but also the ones that are surrounding. I mean, how can 10,000 besiege 11,000? I mean, not counting the uh, other units. But it was very complicated for me to understand that until I found in forums and in a few, some guys also asking the same question. And in fact, what happened was that there was a, a 
Feldersatz, a big unit of um, replacement troops. You can see them here. So I made four extra battalions. Whoops. Okay. Uh, and they are, of course, from all possible brands. Again, metal, uh, plastics, uh, a little bit from everywhere. And uh, more Panzerschrecks. This division eats a lot of Panzerschrecks. I think total 30 Panzerschrecks. And there is another battalion over there. And uh, two other companies for um, one for placements for the Fusilier battalion and another for the uh, Engineer battalion. Okay. So this is the 26th uh, Volksunidio division. I hope you have enjoyed. And. Uh, I'll play something else next time, okay? See you next. Bye-bye.